Hello and welcome back to my channel, I'm a crochet love. Today I'm going to show you how to do double crochets in new Western. So uh, we're going to start with double crochets. Uh, but before I show you, please um, subscribe to my channel, click the notification bell so you, you are sure not to miss any of my future videos. And please like the video and uh, comment below. It will always be a pleasure to hear from you and uh, answer your question or give questions or give you some advice. So we are going to start now with um, doing a slip knot, some chains, and then a double uh, start with the double crochets. So uh, in my other videos, I used a 5 millimeter crochet hook which is the one uh, recommended for this type of yarn. But I decided today to use one that's a bit bigger, uh, half a size bigger, so 5.5 uh, 5 millimeter crochet hook, because I think you will be able to see what I'm doing better. So yeah, we're going to start now. So I'm going to start with the slip knot first. Uh, the way I prefer to do it. So you took a, you take a small piece of yarn, a tail like this. You put it above your your hook. Then you go around that piece of yarn uh, to the right of that piece of yarn. You go around the hook from below. Then you go around the piece of yarn again and go. Uh, to the left of that piece of yarn over the hook and now you have uh, one loop and uh, a piece of yarn and you go and pull your crochet through the first loop while holding everything together and then you can tighten up so that you have a slip knot. So the slip knot is always the way you start doing this. Uh, if you want uh, to see other ways to do a slip knot, I made a video on that. Uh, I will put the link below in the description. So now we're going to start some chains and I'm going to do uh, 10 today to be able to do 10 double crochets and three more. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then to be able to do the first double crochet, I'm going to add three more chains. So one, two and three. So we have a total of 13 chains and what we're going to do now is uh, yarn over and pull and put our crochet hook into the um, into the fourth stitch, the fourth chain uh, to make our first double crochet. So Again, the loop on the hook doesn't count. So this is your first chain, second, third, fourth, and we're gonna put our crochet through this one. So uh, in the fourth chain, put your crochet through like this, then yarn over, pull your crochet, yarn over, pull your crochet through two loops, and yarn over again, and the other two loops. So again, yarn over, put your crochet into the chain, yarn over, pull your crochet through, yarn over, pull your crochet through two loops, and yarn over, put your crochet through two loops. So again, yarn over, crochet, in the in the next chain yarn over 
pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And again, here, yarn over, put in the next chain, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two loops, and yarn over, pull through the last two loops. So again, yarn over, hook in the next chain, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And again, yarn over, in the next, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, and yarn over, pull through two. So like this, hmm, I think I made a mistake, so I'm gonna start that one again, just to make sure. So, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two. So I'm gonna finish the other ones. I think you, you understand how it's done by now. Uh, oops. Here, 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 like this, and if you still see your tail, um, the the stitches you've just made, uh kind of not staying straight but doing going like this round don't worry uh when you do the other ones it's gonna start being like flat laying flat so now i'm gonna do three chains two three and turn my work around yarn over my hook and go to the base of the three chains I just made and make a double crochet. So pull through two, pull through two. Again, yarn over here, yarn over again, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And again, yarn over one, two, back and here, yarn over again, go inside, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So I'm gonna finish these Here, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through round, yarn over, pull through one, two, sorry, pull through two. Uh, so yarn over, pick, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. And then we're gonna do our last one. So yarn over, pull through, yarn over, through, yarn over, two, yarn over, the last two. So like this. And then we're gonna do three more chains. Three. Turn our work over. Just a second. So turn our work over. 
and then we're gonna go ahead yarn over uh, put our hook into the base of the three chains we just made so the first one here you pull through yarn over again pull through two and yarn over again pull through two and then again yarn over go through with the crochet yarn over pull through one yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two and again yarn over go inside yarn over pull through one yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two and again yarn over go inside with your hook yarn over pull through one yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two and again and again again like this and then we are gonna do our last one just before the three chains so like this we go in there here and then we're gonna do three more chains turn over our work and you you do the same thing pretty much but now i'm gonna show you how to fast enough on once you're done with your work so once you're done with your work you've done the last double crochet you're gonna chain one pull through pull your yarn through cut a hand pull it all the way through like the hand you've just cut put it all the way through um tighten up and then you weave in your hand to make sure that it doesn't go away and that's how you finish your work i'm not going to show you uh, right now i'll probably do it when i uh, do um, when i do a tutorial on how to make something then i'm go going to show you in that kind of video how to do it properly but it's not difficult so yeah uh, thank you very much. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, uh, click the notification bell so you won't miss any other video, uh, to also like the video for today, uh, and to comment. It will be a pleasure to hear from you and exchange with you. So uh, thank you again for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.